Uh, good afternoon. I would like to thank Erika Porcari and the distinguished panelists for the very insightful discussion. Essentially, they said it all, so my uh, concluding remarks will actually be very brief. Uh, let me first say that CERN is very proud to host the Open Quantum Institute as a three-year pilot project in partnership with JESDA and with the support of UBS. And CERN has been engaged in the design of the OQI since its inception, and our work on the OQI is carried out in the framework of our Quantum Technology Initiative, which is our platform where we develop technologies relevant to quantum computing, quantum sensors, quantum uh, networks. I will define the uh, OQI current status in the following way. So the baby was incubated by JESDA, as we heard, is now out of the incubator, is still a baby child, but it will have an accelerated growth, and in a year from now, it may well be a teenager. We will see. <laughs> there has been good progress on the OQI, as we heard, and let me uh, summarize the main accomplishment over the past months and with a, an outlook to the future. Some 12 use cases are being explored and are at different stages of development. Uh, they range from water leaks in Mexico City, as uh, amply discussed by, by the panel, to the optimization of food production, carbon capture, and other environmental issues, health, etc. New ideas are continuously being sought after, with the help in particular of XPRIZE, international organization, academic institution, diplomacy, and other stakeholders. And the goal is to reach a pipeline of something like 20 use cases in 2025. Engagement of private partners providing quantum computing resources being pursued, and the three agreements have already been signed uh, with important players who are committing to support some of the explored use cases. And we heard already today about Pascal. As Enrica mentioned, an academic and educational consortium has been formed to boost the development of educational tools and best practices, targeting in particular capacity building in underserved regions. And the hackathon in a box has been created and discussed, so I'm not going to elaborate on this. The visibility of the OQI on the international scene has increased. As an example, the OQI takes part in the steering committee of the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly a few months ago. And the QMI community is growing, with some 560 individuals now involved. And JESDA continues to be in charge of the diplomatic pillar, which recently saw multiple diplomatic briefings, the rollout of the quantum diplomacy game in six different countries, and the Quantum Diplomacy Summit in June. The next months will see an acceleration of the project. By the way, the theme of this JESTA summit, the Great Scientific Acceleration, is quite appropriate for a meeting hosted at CERN because, as you are probably aware, we do know something about accelerators and acceleration. <laughs> Joking aside, CERN and I personally are very committed and pleased to continuing to work with JESTA, UBS, and all our partners from academia, research institution, international organization, and industry, as well as policymakers and philanthropic institutions, to make the OQI a great success. And I, as, as I used to say, to establish it as a model, as a template for other science diplomacy initiatives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.